Hey there guys, welcome to another video. So in the video, I just wanted to uh, try something out. So there is a tool called Nightshade and uh, Nightshade is for A6 and A6X devices uh, for them to be downgraded and jailbroken. So this tool is by a guy named, a guy or a girl named uh, S-Y-N-A-C-K-U-K and I'm not gonna try and say it because I feel like I'll butcher it. Anyway, uh, this tool is on GitHub and uh, there are, there's now nine betas of it. And then this latest beta, the A6X is supported as well as uh, now works on Mac OS here and up. So previously it did not. So with that A6X support, that means that the iPad 4 uh, is supported for this tool. And uh, it's pretty cool. So basically, um, if you wanted to downgrade, it is a tethered downgrade. So um, each time you reboot the device, you will have to put in DFU and uh, use the boot uh, menu on this tool to boot it back up, but um, it will not erase anything on there. You'll still have all your uh, files and apps and everything if you download anything. Anyway, this supports any of the versions that it runs. Uh, so I did try it with uh, iOS 6 and it worked just fine. And the cool thing about that um, is that it offered an upgrade to iOS 8 and iOS 8 upgrade worked and it worked untethered. So if you decided to um, upgrade to iOS 8, from six on that one, then uh, you can do that. And I believe that would probably work for the iPhone 5 as well as the iPhone 5C. Uh, so on this video, I am going to use an iPhone 5C. And this one um, I received in a lot and it was actually, um, it's not, it's not iCloud locked, but of course it's locked. Uh, the phone has a passcode and uh, I was waiting to try and get it unlocked. It's running iOS 8.1.3. Uh, so what I want to do is downgrade it to iOS 7. So I'm going to just pick a random version of iOS 7 that's supported, uh, probably one of the earlier versions, and uh, we'll go ahead and try it. And I'll show you guys on camera. All right. So I've already downloaded the tool. And basically on the GitHub, uh, you just want to go to the main page here. And uh, you can go to the releases. So I chose beta 9. And then you can just download the uh, zip file here. And then you want it to go to ipsw.me. And then you want to find whatever device you're using. So in this case, I'm using an iPhone 5C. So I'm going to look for the iPhone 5C here. And honestly, I don't know if it is a GSM or global. Um, I believe it's Sprint. So maybe I should check on that. So let me check and see uh, which one I need to use. Okay, so the model number of this iPhone 5C is A1456. So that's the CDMA model. So I'm gonna guess that means global. So we'll go ahead and try that and uh, see if that works. So we'll go back to um, the IPSW.me and we'll go ahead and uh, download the iPhone 5C global. And we'll see which, uh, which IPSWs we have here. Okay, so the one that's currently signed is 10.3.3. So the one I want to use, I'm going to use, let's see, 7.0.1, uh, 7.0.2, I'm not sure, but you know what? Let's do 7.0.6 uh, before, right before 7.1. And uh, we'll go ahead and download that. And then I'll show you where we go from here. So I'll go, let that download for a minute. Okay, so your next step will be <clears throat> to put the phone into DFU mode or put the iPad into DFU mode. Um, so basically, uh, the best way I can tell you how to do it here is you would uh, press the home button and the power button at the same time. Once the device appears to restart, wait four seconds, let go of the power button and hold the home button for 10 seconds. And if it goes to a black screen and stays like this, you're good to go. Um, you then want to bring up the Nightshade application. So when you download it, it's going to download it as a zip file. You want to extract that and then open the app. Uh, you have a couple of options here. So you can jailbreak, boot tethered, and restore IPSW. So your first thing that you want to do is if you want to downgrade, you want to go ahead and do the restore IPSW. So right here, we're going to go and we're going to go ahead and select the IPSW. So I'm going to find it here. So I've got the IPSW right here. And then I'm going to, get, I'm going to hit open and we're gonna go ahead and hit restore. All right, and then it's gonna tell you um, that it is doing things. So 
uh, just wait for it to finish here and you should see some uh, something on the screen eventually once it's started doing its uh, process here so it's gonna do all its stuff here so I'll give that a moment and while, when I did the iPad uh, the iPad got stuck on executing payload so in that case I basically had to unplug it close nightshade uh, then go ahead and re-put the iPad into DFU mode and from there it worked. Um, so it may be working here, but we will know soon enough. Okay, the screen is lighting up here, so we should start seeing some verbose information here on the screen. We do have this. So it says pwned, initiated, atropine, atropine, I'm not even sure how to say that. And has a little smiley face or oh, a little winky face and yes i know this does not have a camera or the earpiece and that's because this phone was uh gonna be worked on <laughs> so okay so we did get an error here so it says failed to restore device so we need to go ahead and do this all over again so like i said it may take a couple times to get it to work um, so let's go ahead and uh, we'll go ahead and close this out and then go ahead and put this back in DFU mode and try it again. Okay, so I'll be right back. All right, take two, back in DFU. Let's go ahead and try this one more time and see if it'll work here. Now it was the same thing with the other one, uh, with the iPad, so we'll go ahead and just try it again. All right, so we got that same IPSW and we're gonna go ahead and hit restore. And we're getting the messages again, the good messages, so let's, uh, I'll go ahead and uh, wait for this to, to work here, see what happens. Okay, so this was my third attempt that I just did, and it gave the same message, failed to restore device, and still has just this message on there. So um, rather than me trying to get a different IPSW and try this all over again, I feel like it's going to continue to fail. Um, I did look in the issues section on the GitHub, and it appears that I'm not the only one. <laughs> so um, that's the exact model number that I have. And it appears this person is having a different issue. Um, it's possible to use the wrong uh, IPSW for the wrong device, but this one uh, is the same exact issue. So that's exactly the problem I'm having. So um, what we'll do is try an iPhone 5 instead and see if we can get that one to downgrade. Okay, so on to the next one. So here is an iPhone 5. Uh, this one is in Slate, and it has been the uh, housing has been replaced previously. This one I also did the back glass, and of course it doesn't seem to be sticking down as much as it should be. Uh, this one also needs a new camera, so it's kind of a mess. Uh, anyway, so we're going to use this one to do this. Uh, as I said, it's running iOS 10, and I'll just show you the version it's running here. Um, I did actually have to update it to 10.3.4 because it was having that time issue. So it is 10.3.4. And what we're gonna do with this is I wanna put iOS 6 on it. I mean, shocker. I, I'm, I'm pretty sure you guys figured I was gonna do that. Um, so this is the iPhone 5. Good God, I don't know which version it is. Let me see. I cannot tell. It is the, no clue, MD654LLA. All right, let me look that one up and see which version I have here. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and do iOS 6.0 on this iPhone 5. It is the global version because this was a Verizon CDMA version. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get this into DFU mode and we'll start the process and see if it works on this one. Let's hope. Okay, so I've chosen the IPSW and I'm, uh, I did go ahead and uh, put it in here. So it's in DFU mode and it's going and all that good stuff. So um, if you remember, it uh, failed to restore on the 5C. So uh, I'm trying a different version of iOS and this is for the iPhone 5. And hopefully I got the correct IPSW. Um, but because it is a Verizon version and CDMA, it should be global. So let's go ahead and see what happens. iTunes is just bouncing there, just bouncing, bouncing. It's like, hey, your stuff needs to be restored. All right, uh, this is what the iPad 4 got stuck on, actually, the same thing. 
Um, okay, the phone decided to just turn on. So I'm thinking that it failed. Yeah, the phone just booted right up for some reason. All right, let's see if it actually boots. So it's, it's on the executing payload and on here. Yeah, so it just rebooted itself. So it kicked itself out of DFU. Yeah, failed to enter pwned DFU mode. All right, let me go ahead and put it back and we'll try this again. And take two. So it got kicked out of DFU mode for some reason, but uh, we're trying it again here. I just find it interesting that I was able to do this on the iPad and it worked after the second try, but the 5C doesn't work. And then this one wants to kick itself out of DFU. <laughs> so hopefully we can get this done so I can actually show you this on video. All right, so I'll let this go and hopefully it continues to work. Executing, oh God, it's lighting up. I don't know, is it kicking itself out or is it doing something else? Okay, that's good. So we got the pwned by. Restoring device. Oh, bam, look at that. I don't even know if you can see that. Oh, there's a verbose mode here. And we're gonna be restoring the device. So it is the iOS 6 Apple logo. I know my phone really can't capture the light of this, but that is the iOS 6 Apple logo. All right, so this is gonna take a while. So we'll go ahead and uh, let this thing go and uh, restore. And uh, then I'll go to the next step and uh, show you how it looks. It now shows that it's done. And what you'll see on the screen is it is still black. So although it showed the Apple logo in the progress bar, it's just gonna show black. So what you have to do is actually boot it tethered. Um, and what you have to do here is you're gonna click boot and then boot again. And basically you have to put it in DFU mode again and then it seems to have to redo everything that it just did to get it to restore. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now, uh, and I will show you the process once it's uh, in DFU mode here. And just as I said, it's gonna be loading the same things that it was doing before uh, when we were doing the restore. And uh, once it is done, it should boot to a brand new install of iOS 6 or whatever install you've chosen. So I'll go ahead and let this thing go. Um, it should still do that same verbose boot also. Um, so we'll go ahead and let this go and uh, hopefully we'll get, to, oh, okay. looks like it is, uh, the screen just lit up here. So let's see. All right, we've got verbose boot. All right, we've got the Apple logo again here. It does say done. All right, so we'll just let this thing uh, go ahead and get itself ready into the setup screen and I'll go from there. Okay, it's now on iOS 6. The fun thing though, is it requires a SIM card to activate it. How fun is that? Luckily, I keep a bunch of them for this purpose. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop in this Verizon SIM and we'll see if I can activate it now. Okay, and I pop the SIM in there, it says no service. Let's see if it lets me set it up here. All right, English, United States, do the Wi-Fi, the Wi-Fi here. It seemed to activate it just fine. We're gonna set it up as a new phone and I'm gonna skip this. Agree, we want to use Siri. Yes, we'll send. And voila, there you go. <laughs> Updater for iPhone 5 is now available for your iPhone. I don't know what that is. That's quite interesting. Oh, okay. Hmm. I wonder if that's an official thing. <laughs> I don't think it is. Uh, but anyway, so we're now on iOS 6, <clears throat> so I'll go ahead and show you this. 
and I put it on iOS 6.0, and this is a Verizon iPhone, as I said before. Um, so everything should work just fine. Uh, the only thing is, if you turn it off, you will have to uh, boot tethered, so you'll have to do the same thing that we just did uh, just, a, just a few minutes ago. So there you go. It is on iOS 6, and uh, we've got that beautiful iOS 6 goodness. This camera's messed up, so it's going to show like it's messed up. But look at that. Remember that? There's no control center. There is a notification center, but it looks totally different. And as you can see now, the weather does not work anymore with the Yahoo for some reason, but I noticed that on other phones too. So there's a spotlight search here. And uh, yeah, so there you go. So at least we got one to work. And all right, so there you have it. So um, it is downgraded to iOS 6, but as I said previously, you can restore it to any version of iOS um, and uh, it should work just fine. Um, I may try the update thing to see if it'll update to iOS 8 and uh, keep it on there. Um, if I do, I'll let you know how that goes. And uh, anyway, uh, just remember that if you do turn the device off, in order to get it back to, uh, in order to get it to boot again, you will have to uh, use the tool again to boot it. Um, but as long as it's on, you should be good. And uh, anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I know it's kind of a long one, um, but uh, if you got this far, thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you like this video, please leave me a like. And if you want to see more, um, definitely subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video.